hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video i'll teach you two things what does a value mean in javascript and what is a variable so these two things a lot of people a lot of students get confused so i'll tell you what does it exactly mean so we'll go to index.js file and here i'll give you a basic example like of starting from we'll use console.log and let's say you want to print your name so you will write this string brackets inside that i'll write my name right and after that let's say you want to write your age so you will write the same statement again and you will write your age so age is a number and you write it like 25 and thing whatever is your age then you need to write like you know i'm just giving example of a description of yourself so like age um, name then maybe your last name so and always names are in the form of string so you write like this so i wrote these three details my first name my age and my last name right then if i go and inspect this page yeah and then you drag this section wide this one and click on console and then you see as soon as i refresh it i got my name my age and my last name first name age and last name so these all things which got printed these are values so every time i have to come here and write it every time i have to write my name so if basically let's say there was a form and someone has to i have to write my name again like three or four times or ten times then i'll have to go there again and write my whole name and imagine like so my name is really big and imagine writing this big name every time like this it just doesn't make sense so and let's say i have three a big application like a really big application i have to use this name like 20 times so i cannot write it right so this the value i need this is the value but i cannot just go and like write it again and again that's not good so one thing about programming is you need to write your code which is reusable and you don't have to write less you should write less code not same code again and again so what i can do that's where our second topic of the video will come in so i already told you what does value mean value means all these things which are shown on the screen like this which have a real value like a string a number true or false value which is called boolean or anything like that but what is a variable so variable is something which is gonna make our life easier so i'll show you what do I exactly mean so instead of writing this thing again i'll do something i will declare a variable so variable is something like you say let and inside that i can write a variable called name now this name could be anything whatever you want to write here so I want to write my name so I can write here string and my whole name Abhimanyu Singh like this right and now whenever I will comment it out to comment it out you can hold control or command and just press the back tick so when you comment anything out it won't be included in your HTML file or JavaScript file you won't see it basically this is not part of the code it's just for you now basically if i go now here and if i console.log so you write log and press enter it's a shortcut you will get this console.log inside this this time if my application or on on any form if i want my name 100 times or 200 times i don't need to go and write this whole name what i need to do i just need to write where my name is stored so this name is stored in the name so whatever you want to store you write in the right hand side and wherever you want to store you write in the left hand side so i want to store my name abhimanyu singh shaktawat i want to store it where do i want to store it i want to store it in this box like this is a box which is called name so i'm storing my whole name inside this box which is let like which is name i've called it name so now every time i need my name i will just write this name here you just need to write it literally like this that's it and if you do this now if i go and refresh my screen do you see i've got my name so now every time i need my name i can just i don't need to 
write the whole name. I just need to call this where my name is stored and you refresh it, you will see my name five times. So do you see how I, if I wouldn't have done this and then I would have to write like this whole code, this bit five times, but now I just write this name and I get my whole name. Same for age. Let's, if I want to store my age, I can write let age equals to, and I can write 23. And then I want to write, let's say my weight, right? And I can write it 75 and or anything like my address. So I can write let a double t r e double s address. And what is address? It's a string, right? Like it's a word. So whatever word is there, basically you write it in the strings. So I will write it, let's say I live somewhere in London. So I'll just write London. So you can write anything like this. And then if I want it, I can just go and write console.log age. Then I can console.log my weight. Then I can console.log my address. Easy. Now I don't have to go and write them separately, right? And then if I refresh it, you see, you'll get all the details of me. So this is one of the reason reason why we use variables. What does variable do? Variable makes our work easier. They help us to store any value you want to store. You tell me what kind of value you need to store. Do you want to store a number? You can store a number. Do you want to store a address? You can store, you want to store your name. You can hide anything you can. Or if you want to store something like uh, anything, like you can store this literally here. So this is why we use value and variable. And what does value mean? Value means the stuff which is inside the variable. This is variable. So that's all for today. Hope you like my way of teaching. If you like my video and if you want more video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment. If you have any doubts, let me know what do you want me to teach in next videos.